the guard. Who don't realize how dangerous it is. How dangerous it is. But here's, well, here's the question I want to ask you, Perry. Okay. Everybody says, let's not talk about the death sentence. Let's talk about staying up and staying, taking care of yourself. What's the, for those of us that are uneducated, what is the average time before someone goes into full-blown age? I know it's extended now, but right. there's got to be some statistics about it. You know, what we, what we have to look at 1996 as the turning point when the new medications came out. Okay. And, um, uh, many people who started those medications in 1996 are still alive in 2003. Okay. But that's the only data we have at this point. Oh, so you can only say, really, go back to 1990. I mean, right. there are people that have, that have not come into full-blown AIDS and been HIV positive for 20, 20 years. years. There's a 20 years. There's, 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 a, you know, there's a segment of the population that just has, remains asymptomatic, and they remain healthy. But you know what? Seven years of medications, we don't know. Will they work for 20 years? Will they work for 10 years? The answers are not so there. So it's still a gamble. It's Education a is gamble. crucial. John, Education is say, big. I know that some people are able to go 20 years. But less than a year into my HIV status, I have developed full bone AIDS. I have 160 T cells, and um, so it depends on it the person. Depends it depends on can the person. be genetics. It can. And you, could, right, you know, right. the thing is, like, I'm 21. I could be on medications for the next 10, 15 years, and they're saying now that people my age who take HIV medications have a really, really high risk of developing heart complications. Absolutely. So it's like I'm taking medications that can save my life, but will also potentially kill me one day. I have a friend who's gained like 200 pounds because of lipodystrophy, which is a really serious side effect where you gain a lot of weight on HIV medications, but nobody has a picture or poster of him saying, this is what happens if you have HIV, So and it's people still, need to know it's that. It's still a terrible crapshoot. The, the, the message is, is this is not a glamorous life. Okay, stay with us. We'll be right back.